Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dan. I have a couple more things I want to show you in SolidWorks. Um, one of the questions that you're probably wanting to know is we have this, you know, artery or pipe or whatever it is with a bunch of branches. And one of the things that we always want to know if we have branches is how much flow is going into each branch. Now again, we can use the visualization tools that I showed you previously to do that, but that doesn't give us actual numbers. And so we might want to find some actual numbers. So to do that, we can use surface parameters. Um, but first, I need to go back and show all these lids so that I can see them. We'll head back to flow sim. OK, so let's go to surface parameters. Let's go ahead and select. I'm going to select that inside face. OK, and I want to see the mass flow rate on that inside face. And I can hit show. And it will go over here. It doesn't have the max and mins, but it does have the integrated mass flow rate. And that is what we input into our sim in the first place in our boundary conditions. So I should hope it should equal that, which it does. So I feel pretty good. OK, but I really want to know how much mass is flowing out these other um, surfaces. So I'm going to hit check on that. Oops. If I go down to surface parameters again, insert a surface parameter. OK, I want on this face, let's make sure we get the inside face here. Again, mass flow rate and show. OK, it shows me the mass flow rate is negative 0.003. The sign isn't that big a deal because uh, it m just means it's flowing against the normal of that surface. So it's flowing out. OK, so that's useful for us. Let's look at the flow, mass flow on this one. OK, so there's very little flow coming out that one at all, um, which we saw when we did the flow visualization. But it's not 0. And we'll do this last one. Make sure we select the inside face, mass flow rate, show. We know that we put in 0 0.001 into this side. And we're getting out 0 0.0003 here and 0 0.0007 here, and just a very little bit times 10 to the negative fifth out here. Um, and so the majority of the flow is going out those two. It does add up because mass has to be conserved in our simulation. Um, and so that does work. And that's one way you can evaluate uh, what, how much flow is actually coming out each um, of the openings. Now, once you start getting a lot of these parameters, maybe you want to start renaming things so you don't forget what they are. So you can just click on it. And I can type inlet mass flow for this one. You can relabel all these other ones, too. So that's pretty useful. So that's how you can use surface parameters um, in addition to XY plots and volume parameters to actually get some numbers to get something that you compare when you're evaluating your sim.